All right, folks, we ventured away from the home lake and we are here on Crab Orchard, a 6,900 acre lake. Folks, we're gonna put big fish in the boat during this episode. We have a great time learning about what it's like to fish the spawn on Crab Orchard. I've got my buddy Marcus with me and we spend the entire day just fishing this lake. And I'll tell you, it's completely different than Lake of Egypt. So if you're in the area, Williamson County, roughly around Carterville, Carbondale area, check out crab orchard this is a federally owned lake the lakes are this lake is open has not been closed and here's the secret folks it's unlimited it doesn't matter on the size and it doesn't matter on the quantity of crappie that you're going to get so it's a great lake a lot of boat ramps i'm going to go through a lot of the stats on this lake but most importantly i'm going to tell you how we catch these fish during the spawn during this whole day that we experienced it Today we're out at uh, Crab Orchard. We're gonna show you everything there is to know about Crab Orchard. Well, at least what we know in a short period of time. That's the first fish missed on film. Welcome back, folks. So if you've never heard of Crab Orchard Lake, let me give you some things. Let me give you some stats on it. It was created when Crab Orchard Creek, a tributary of the Big Muddy River in Southern Illinois, was dammed in the 1930s. So this lake has been around for a while, folks. It offers boating, camping, fishing, and swimming. Two campgrounds around this lake and obviously numerous boat ramps. So it's really nice. It has stocked fish. It actually has uh, steak beds. Um, these folks, they, they go the extra mile to make sure that we have a good fishery on this particular lake. So we've been all over the lake today. You know, we're trying to figure it out. We just got out here, first time this year on the spawn on Crab Orchard. And this is a lake that I uh, definitely cut my teeth in crappie fishing. In fact, the guy that taught me about crappie fishing is fishing right there. I'm sure at some point he'll, he'll make an appearance. But today we started out on the stake beds and they were not there. And so we have come to two parts of the lake, which is Wolf Creek and uh, Grassy Bay. And that's where all the bait fish are and that's where all the fish are at so we're fishing in grassy bay right now marking a ton of fish but we're trying to figure it out what it is that they like so now on this day we started off in a different location we actually went to what's called wolf creek and you can see the arrow there and i'll tell you we did there was a ton of fish there there was a lot of people fishing it was kind of like that uh, bridge scenario you might see on a lot of lakes but then we were also told that they were biting in Grassy Bay, Little Grassy Bay, and that's where we went. Folks, less boats, uh, it was fantastic. You're basically fishing around the lily pads, and that was the ticket. And it took us a while to figure that out. Now, we did experience Wolf Creek, and no doubt you're going to catch a ton of fish there. But Little Grassy Bay seemed to be a little bit more our speed, and I loved fishing one foot down. That was really fun. Fish. <laughs> it's fish. I don't know. Initially, we started off too deep, uh, three, four foot down. That's what we thought they would be at. But I'll tell you, folks, it was amazing. We were in three foot of water, only fishing one foot down under a float. And that's what you're going to see for the rest of the episode. Great fishing for the spawn, no doubt.
So let's talk about something. I get asked about this a lot, about power poles. Are they worth it? And I'll tell you why. I'll be right up front with you. They are super expensive for what they do. But when you get to use them, especially in three foot of water, like we got to use them all day today, invaluable. Unbelievably nice, convenient, efficient. Um, a lot of this water is so shallow, um, it's really difficult to actually use your trolley motor, even if you have spot locks. So to have power poles, being able to just lock it down uh, was awesome. There's nothing better than seeing a float go down. It brings you right back to your childhood. This is a great lake to bring your child to because I'm telling you, you're gonna catch a lot of fish, a lot of fish. So, you know, we found this cove one foot down. We're taking videos of just the corks now at this point. We've caught so many fish during this day, um, but just a great time. Crab Orchard, great lake. It's a beautiful day. Warming up to 60 degrees. Water temperature here is 60 degrees. All these fish are a lot shallower. We ran into my buddy Boone and we talked to him and we were fishing too deep when we first came out here. But when we did catch the big fish of the day so far, uh, we were fishing, I bet you still that came out at three, four foot down. Um, but a lot of boats back here in Grassy Bay, which is pretty cool. Definitely found a new honey hole for the spot. really to get the big fish you go out there that was a nice little surprise didn't know I had that one on <laughs> hey folks today me and Marcus like most days we're fishing with the gray series Ozark rod you can check them out at ozarkrod.com and if you want a discount you can use the code three pound for 10% off just a great all-around rod the 10 footer does it all. Tiny stick up, if you can see it. Yeah. That's the smallest crappie I've caught today. Biggest and smallest. We got a 1 16th ounce head on there. Patriot, straight tail. About a foot, foot and a half under a cork. So all we're doing is, this is a really small guy, a lot of fish in here, but all we're doing is kind of working it back cast it out there pretty far away and then we're just kind of working it back really slow I'm putting a little jiggle on it he's doing the same thing once in a while but for the most part really slow presentation really shallow one foot and um, pretty cool
Hey, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Good fish, crab orchard. Check it out. It's a great lake. Um, it's one that we don't fish enough just because we have access to other lakes in the area. But uh, totally recommend it. Good whites, big fish. And uh, yeah, please subscribe.